John Autry II, joining me now along with his interpreter, Michelle Christie. So glad that you are with me, John. For the first time in 33 years, 722 episodes, this has happened. It's groundbreaking for the deaf community. What did it mean to you as a deaf actor and for deaf culture? Uh, you know, uh, I have been acting for, uh, uh, for the No Limits for a long time. So No Limit uh, taught me how to boost my confidence. And, and I have done over 25 different productions when I was a kid. And now and I, I go out there to show my confidence that I, I can be able to speak and learn how to listen. And it, it, it's, it's amazing to be part of this show because it changed my life. And I love it. It's amazing. Well, and we have a shout out to No Limits, an incredible uh, theater for the deaf. Tell me about your character, Monk. Monk, um, Monk is it, a, a unique uh, character because Monk is more about how to approve his life as a human being. And Monk can do what he can, Monk can do what other can do because he wants to get uh, the coconut implants. The co coconut implant will be able to help him perceive all the sound that he never heard before. And Mark is a, uh, a great person that I, have a, that I have to portray in my life. And, you know, Mark is a, it's, it's, it's unbelievable because it's just a blessing for me to be a part of the character. That's why I like to see it because he can speak and he can sign as well, but he's more of a, 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 a hard of hearing person. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful to see everybody represented, to see ASL, American Sign Language, to be able to hear you use your voice. We have a clip. Let's take a look. I was destined to find you. My new mission in life is to make you happy. You're my new cause. Hold up. I'm not anybody's cause. I enjoy who I am. I love my community. And you know, sometimes I like turning up annoying sounds by just closing my eyes. Oh yes, I hate annoying noises. Now, just listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring those publishers to their knees. You and I are gonna, we're gonna lawyer up and I, then eventually the Supreme Court will hear going to restore your dad's legacy. <laughs> there are so many messages there saying you are not anybody's cause and explaining that deaf, being deaf is not a disability, it's a culture. And number two, I love the humor in that you tell her, because she doesn't get it, that when you close your eyes, you're ignoring what she's saying. You have the advantage of that. How did humor and history play into your life story here? Yeah. You know, it's, it, 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 it happened, <laughs> it's normal, because I have done that when I was a kid. And, you know, and like when I closed my eyes, it, because I didn't want to hear, uh, listen, it's hard for me to read lips, especially. And then like, if I couldn't hear anything, I just turn off, you know, I turn off my implant or my hearing aid. That's what I have to do, you know, that's, that's my, my, my own tradition. So there's nothing I could do. So what do you want the hearing community to learn from this, John, about deaf power, deaf culture? You know, I do what's best for me to help others. Uh, I like to help uh, a deaf kid to, to, to see a uh, perspective of a deaf board actor because they like to see what they want to do in, in the future. Like, I like to help them to build their confidence so they could become an actor, they could become a lawyer, a doctor. And see, it's all about what they can do because they can allow them to have the big opportunity and they can do what they other they can do. Life is about no limits. It, it's like you have to follow your heart. You have to believe in yourself. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You have to do what you have to do in your life. It's all about passion, love, support, and gratitude. And, and also, there's nothing perfect, but that's okay because you have to um, uh, push yourself to the limit and learn how to make mistakes. But you have to get up and do it again. 
that teach you about perseverance. That's what it's about. It's all about hard work and dedication. Amen. And I learned that, as I told you, my grandparents, my mom, all teachers for the deaf. So I love lifting up the deaf community. I love seeing you using your ASL. I love doing this interview. Thank you for everything that you're doing, John, just to break barriers. I appreciate you. I'm very happy. Love you. And thank you very much for the interview. It was Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.